Hello, AMZ analyzers, and happy 4th of July for those of you that are in the United States or celebrating America's birthday. I am so excited to announce a new update for AMZ analyzer customers, and I'm going to use this video to quickly walk through some of the changes and new features added as part of this update. This software update is not launched yet, but is expected to be in the next 12 to 24 hours, maybe even sooner. How do you know if you have it ready for update? Well, check the top right corner up here, and you should see a message that says uh, software ready for update. Uh, if it's not ready yet, you'll see that you still have the latest version. Come back and check in a few hours, and you should see the right message. Mine has a failed message uh, only because I'm working in the beta version. I went ahead and processed a test sheet already to demonstrate some of the new features. All right, guys, I know you've been waiting for it for a long time, but the is sold by Amazon data is finally back. Yes, you heard it, and it's back without the need for any additional credentials from Amazon. We no longer require the pro product advertising API credentials. All of that is gone. And we now have a much more efficient way to get this data as well as the num number of Amazon reviews and ratings. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you right now. In this new version, these columns are no longer processed on the front end. You now process your spreadsheet just like I've done here and filter, which I'm going to do with one of the uh, saved grid views. You filter down to your profitable products. And these are really the only ones you care about in terms of whether Amazon is selling and whether um, it has good reviews or a high level of reviews, high number of reviews. So once you get down to this short list, if, whether you filter using a grid view or whether you use the filters manually to get to this stage, once you get here, the way you now retrieve the uh, sold by Amazon and reviews data is you select the rows that you would like to process as I've done here you could either select all or you could select individual rows and you click this show reviews and Amazon data button up here once you click that button you'll see the data populate very very quickly in this example you'll see every one of these products in my shortlist is sold by Amazon. Now, if that's a problem for me and I don't want to compete with Amazon, I could stop my search right here and move on to the next list. I no longer have to go product by product to see if Amazon is a seller and competing with me. That's how powerful this data is. I know everyone has been wanting it to come back. Everyone's been emailing me and we've been working uh, very, very hard to bring this back to you, and I hope you guys can appreciate this. Now, in terms of the reviews and ratings, we always had this, but we used to process this on the front end, which would really slow the program down. If you had a large list to process, adding number of, of reviews and ratings in settings would slow the processing down up to 20 times. So instead of doing that on the front end and slowing down your entire process, you now do it on the back end like this, and it saves a tremendous amount of time and makes for a much more efficient uh, processing of your uh, spreadsheets, a much faster. Now, the next feature I'd like to show you is a new field that we've added here for margin. This is a new column. Now, we've always shown you uh, returns based on ROI. Uh, but some of you guys have been requesting uh, to see margin percentage as well. Now, what's the difference? Well, margin is your, uh, your profit divided by the sales price on Amazon.com, whereas ROI is the profit divided by the uh, cost of goods sold. You can Google this. There are different philosophies of how you should analyze profitability. Neither one of these are wrong. They're both correct. Just, just depends on how you want to look at your data. And now you could look at it uh, both ways. If you're looking at the Amazon uh, FBA calculator, which I know a lot of you guys do, they will show you margin percentage. They are not showing you ROI percentage. And now AMZ Analyzer will show you both. 
The next feature I'd like to show off is um, over here in the package quantity column. Now, as you guys know, if you deal with multi-packs, Amazon doesn't always have good data. And the way the program knows if the product is a multi-pack is if the package quantity has a, a number that's higher than one. So for example, if this said two, then the program knows it's a multi-pack of two and you actually have to purchase two of the products in order to sell on the listing. Okay, now if you're following me, um, that means that, you know everything is all good until Amazon has bad data where you may have a multi-pack, but this package quantity field coming straight from Amazon is not showing you the correct uh, package quantity and therefore the multi-pack feature doesn't work correctly. So now what you could do is you can manually edit. This is now an editable field. You could change this to whatever number you want. And as you can see, your, all of your data is now updated on the fly to account for the package quantity. The, obviously, the profit and ROI goes down with higher uh, package quantity because you now have to purchase more products. This is another uh, feature that a lot of you guys have been asking for and uh, we are happy to deliver. Now for the next feature I'm going to click back over to the uh, settings screen here and what you'll notice is uh, a few things. One is uh, you no longer have the product advertising API credentials in here and that's because they're no longer required, they're, they're no longer used or useful for anything as we're now delivering our data uh, for whether Amazon is a seller in other ways. So that's gone. And then you'll also see that you now have privacy for your access and secret keys here, where if you have employees using the program for you, you, you can now uh, put your credentials in and, uh, and, that, and they can't see what they are. So you could be comfortable that they're private. Now further, if you're working with a virtual assistant or an employee and you need to provide credentials for them to use, you can now export your credentials. This will export a file. It's an en encrypted file with your credentials. Uh, you set a password and, uh, and it'll generate a file. You could then send your virtual assistant or employee the file which they will then import and they'll they'll need to have your unique password and once they put that password in the credentials are loaded in automatically and they can then start to use the program another update uh, that I'd like to show off is the additional columns functionality that was uh, not working properly in the last version we had a bug uh, where this data would not come up in all of the views you guys brought it up and we fixed it. So thank you for uh, communicating that to us. And last but not least, uh, we have made some changes to the way the program reads your input sheet. If you look at this spreadsheet I've created here, you'll notice the UPCs here have all sorts of characters in them. This one has, uh, you know, dashes. This one has spaces. This one has commas, underscores in this one. Uh, these would not process previously in AMZ Analyzer. You would have to go through the hassle of editing these and making them all into clean UPCs in order for the program to recognize, uh, recognize the UPCs. And I believe most other programs are the same way. There's a lot of editing involved, which takes your precious time. So as a quality of life improvement, we have now uh, updated the software to be able to read these difficult UPCs. I'll demonstrate that for you right here. I'm going to load that same file that you're looking at uh, and I'm going to process. You will see, and this is the file that we have right here. Now let me get back into the full view. You will see that we had four uh, uh, entries here with these funky UPCs and the program has converted those four into clean UPCs and has processed them successfully. Hope you guys like this update and uh, we 
appreciate all the feedback we've been receiving from you guys. Please tell us what you think about th these updates, and if you have any others you would like to suggest, we are all ears. Most, if not all, of the updates here have been made with your input, so please keep that coming. Uh, come uh, join our Facebook group and follow us and like our page. That is the best way to get uh, news and information on updates first. Uh, share our page to help us out. And uh, hope you guys enjoy. Happy 4th of July.